Hey guys, Scott here with Everyday Home Repairs. We are addressing a water leak that uh, that we have in an outdoor spigot or outdoor faucet. And uh, the water is leaking from behind the handle. If you uh, have a water leak at your faucet and you feel like it's coming out this top part, which is called the uh, anti-siphon valve, there is actually, you can check out this video. Uh, we'll walk you through how to repair that. That's a really quick and easy uh, repair and that will address that top anti-siphon valve. Today uh, we had that leak but also we have the leak that is actually behind the handle and that's the one we're addressing uh, with checking it out seeing if we just need to tighten the nut or maybe there's some uh, some of the o-rings or gaskets are worn down and need to be replaced so stay tuned and we'll jump into it. So we'll start with taking the small bolt here uh, which actually secures the handle to the stem that's behind it. Th this one and possibly yours too is really rusty so what we uh, what I had done is taken some WD-40 and kind of spray it on that to, kind of, to try to penetrate the rust. Uh, sprayed some on there, waited a few minutes, sprayed some more that type of thing. So usually you can use a flathead screwdriver and that will get it. This one was pretty tight, so I actually uh, got a socket out. Uh, this is a 3 8 socket, which will fit this, this bolt, and I was able to uh, use that uh, and loosen up, holding the handle, loosen up that bolt. And now, it, now it's nice and loose. I can just use the screwdriver holding the handle. Um, I do not have the water off in this instance. You might want to turn the water off. Um, what I'm trying to do is just not turn the stem uh, so then water will not come through this outdoor spigot. Especially while we're just kind of addressing the initial issue. Alright, that is a nice and rusty bolt. This one's probably been in say 20 years 20 years hasn't had any service done um, okay so here's here's the nut um, this is a right hand tight nut so when you turn it right it tightens uh, there are also left hand and I think those are usually tan so you might see a white one which is a right hand tighten or uh, a tan one which would be a left hand tighten this one at least was hand loose that alone can be your source so you could tighten this down and see if that stops your leak uh, by putting the handle back on, screwing it back down, uh, turning the stem, see if that stops your leak. Uh, I'm going to actually remove this, which you can remove uh, with a pair of pliers, uh, or this is actually, uh, if you already have your socket set out, uh, 7 8 So a 7 8 socket fits this nut. I'll take it out. What I'm looking for is the o-ring and gasket. I want to see the condition of those. If those look bad that's probably going to be the the issue. Okay, here's the o-ring. The o-ring didn't look too bad. Now there's the gasket. That already looks a little dried out. Let me try to take it out of there. Yep. Okay. You can see it's it's got cracks in it, chunks missing, broken. So that is definitely not going to make a good seal. Um, and that's most likely the source of our, our problem. I did grab a repair kit here that has all the parts we need. Uh, to go ahead and make it actually has many of the parts for the the uh, kind of tan one there is the uh, left hand tighten nut uh, we have the white one so that's the right hand tighten nut and uh, many other components you can actually rebuild you can uh, remove this entire stem and then there's some additional uh, gaskets in there uh, that you can rebuild we're just going to do this nut and see if that works for us all right so I'll grab those components out. All right, so really in the kit, I'm taking the white nut, the O-ring that's going to go on there. All right, 
So now we got the O-ring on. And then this right hand gasket there. Now don't worry, the gasket that you took off had a concave shape. This one just has a, a cylindrical shape. That's okay. That's still going to work. So you can either put it in here or you can actually put it on uh, the stem itself and push it down and then, uh, and then push this new nut on there. And when that tightens down, it's going to conform to the shape of that, that uh, cone that's on the, the nut. this guy down all right again whenever you're dealing with plastic parts be a little careful don't don't over tighten them you're gonna get yourself in a situation where you're gonna break the components and then you got to start over go get another kit all right that's pretty darn tight um, again, my handle, actually, I, I did notice when I brought that handle off, it's cracked. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the crack right there. Um, so I did, there, you can also, as you can kind of tell, all these are replacement parts, right? So I got a little handle kit. Um, the nice thing is that comes with the bolt. My bolt was really rusty, so I can just swap that guy out. Open that up, put that new handle on. Match up the square here. Put the bolt in. Be careful not to cross thread, so make sure you got the bolt lined up. Tighten that down. All right, now we'll then turn that on. Okay, we got water flowing out the end. And we are watertight on this end. Nice. So that fixed it. So that's it. Uh, so now, uh, throughout two videos, this video we swapped out uh, the nut inside and then also the gasket and the O-ring, which fixed our water leak behind the handle. And don't forget, there uh, I do have another video out there for any water leaks or any issues you're having with the anti-siphon valve. So those are kind of the two most common, and I actually had both those areas leaking on this uh, outdoor spigot. So if you like these type of videos to help you kind of uh, repair and maintain your house, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And then uh, if this helped you out, go ahead and give us a like, and we appreciate you joining here on Everyday Home Repairs. Take care.